Okay, let's have a look at quantitative data. Now, this is data that has a numerical value and it can be either discrete or continuous. It can be summarised in a frequency distribution. So that means the following. If we, it's easier to look at this with an example. So Trent counted the number of letters in each word of the first paragraph of a large book. And we can put that into a table like this. So counting up how many words of each le um, length of letters. So for example, this here means that we had 10 words that had seven letters in them, or two words that had 12 letters in it, and five words that had three letters and so on. That's how you read that table. Um, this can also be shown in a graph like this where we've got vertical lines representing the frequency for how many words we have of each uh, length and this is called a vertical line graph. Now this was um, an example of discrete data uh, meaning it, it was something we could count, it's in whole numbers. Uh, this can also be done for continuous data. Um, we can display it as a frequency distribution, but we have to use classes or intervals. They're referred to in both ways, so you just need to know both of those keywords. So, for example, we're looking at the mass in kilos of 40 patients that entered a doctor's office on one afternoon. And this gets summarised in a table like this. So 55 upwards, 60 upwards, 65 upwards. Um, you might be given the bottom and the top boundary there. So it might have said uh, 55 to 59, 60 to 64. It, you can be given this in a variety of ways. You just need to be able to read those tables though. So we had nine people in that category of 55 upwards, uh, 15 from 60 upwards and 65, uh, sorry, 12 above 65. Now we also talk about widths of intervals and that's the upper bound minus the lower bound so for these ones we've got this interval here runs from 59.5 to 54.5 or 64.5 to 59.5 each of those is a width of 5. The last one we can't work that out because it just says above 65 we don't have an upper limit on it. Now stem and leaf diagrams got an example here for the number of people who were in a movie theatre on, on a number of occasions. So that lowest number there, the smallest we had in this movie theatre was 18, the largest was 94. Now there are some key parts of the stem and leaf diagram that you must make sure you've got. Firstly, it's ordered and secondly, it must have a key. Now, strictly speaking, that should really say that 6 bar 8 means 68 people. We should put the units on there as well. That was missed off of this example that I um, copied down for you. From here we can get a couple of uh, useful measurements. So we can find the mode by looking for the thing that appears most frequently, which is right there. Well, that, that uh, long list of ones is the thing that's there the most often. So that would give us the mode as being 41 people. So most frequently they had 41 people in the movie theatre. And median, we need to look for the halfway value. So we can go through crossing off one from each side until we get to the middle. That gives us that uh, zero popping out in the middle there, which means we have 40 people for the median. Now you can get to that one a little bit faster if you use this. So n plus one over two, that gives you the position for the median. Here's an example of constructing a stem and leaf diagram from some data. So this is the times taken in hours to the nearest tenth to carry out repairs on 17 pieces of machinery. So we're going to set out our um, stem and leaf diagram first and we have the key at the bottom saying 2 bar 7 means 2.7 hours. And then we'll go through each of those numbers and put them onto our stem and leaf. We won't worry about the order just yet. We'll just make sure they're all in there. So that's just going through every number and putting them onto the right place. Now that one went a little bit fast so I'm just going to do it again. So you can see them going in one at a time. And then next we will order them.
So do the stem and leaf again, but this time just reorder each of those lines in uh, ascending order. From here we can pick out the mode. Those three nines there at the top is, makes our mode of 0 0.9 hours. And the median, well we've got 17 pieces of data, 17 plus 1 over 2 gives us 9, so we're looking for the ninth piece of data right there. So that gives us 1.1 hours.